When's the last time you talked to Kyrie Irving? I texted him probably two weeks ago. Yeah. What What are we missing with Kyrie? You know, I, I'd, I'd rather not speak for Kyrie. I, I love Kyrie. You know, I have a great, I think, a great relationship with him. Uh, he's He's really smart and really talented. And, uh, and uh, as a res- you know, as a result of having this exposure, uh, his own shoe, which now Nike has, uh, uh, you know, stopped their relationship. Uh, you know, it's a different world and it's tough to, uh, unless you're with the person all the time, it's tough to see how that all that has influenced but with me i love him uh i'm in his corner and i'm there to help him if he feels i can help him well i wondered about that sort of balance of when do i reach out or do i wait for that person to reach out your former players yeah well i would always reach out and give the opportunity if there was if they wanted more, you know, and that's where texting comes in and, and, you know, he would text back and, but you don't, you know, the other thing is jumping in when you don't know everything. It's difficult to give counsel and, and, uh, or counsel your opinion, whether you think that's counsel or whatever. And, uh, but, uh, uh, I do want him, just like any of our players, to know that uh, I'm there. You know, if you what for whatever, and uh, uh, you know, Kyrie put that. Kyrie actually played more games for me with the U.S. team than he did for <laughs> Duke. Uh, Duke, he played eight games, <laughs> and so I got to know him along the way. Even though I didn't, yeah, you know, we had a good relationship his freshman year, but he wasn't wasn't playing and. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, you know, uh, uh, you, do we have time for a story about him? Sure. Okay. So when we recruited him, top one of the top players, and, you know, he was born in Australia. So uh, uh, his dad played there. His dad's a great guy. And uh, Dredd. And uh, in high school, like when he was 17, 18, he had a, an opportunity to play in one of the uh, youth tournaments worldwide and he could play for australia or the u.s and australia was putting a lot of pressure on him and uh he wasn't sure what to do and i said do not do that play for the u.s and i said i said you're going to be one of the the guards of your generation or maybe the guard of your generation and you're going to be the point guard on the u.s olympic team at some time Fast forward, he plays in the world championships in 14. Our our perimeter is Curry, Harden, and, and Irving. <laughs> and we bring Clay Thompson and DeRozan off the bench. So I was such a good coach. Yeah, amazing. Uh, he did a wonderful yeah. job. I did. Wow. I did. Underdogs. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to pat myself on the back. And, uh, uh, and then the next, and he, he was really good. Uh, and then in 2016 in Rio, we're getting ready to play Serbia for the gold medal. And in the locker room, they're getting ready. And I I just knelt by him while he was uh, putting on his shoes. And I said, you know what's going to happen today? And he said, yeah, coach. I said, you're going to be, I got chills thinking. I said, you're going to be the starting point guard for the U.S. Olympic team. And uh, a very like, kind of an emotional thing. So I have that level of relationship with him. And I know, I know that, he has a, uh, uh, that he has a good soul and a good heart. And, and, uh, and I love him. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry that all this is, you know, this is a very unfortunate that all this is happening. 